Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mark Cavendish situation that everyone's talking about. Uh, and then I want to kind of get your take on the situation of maybe bringing back a limited edition Mark Cavendish Venge. But before we get into that, uh, first I want to give kudos to Mark Cavendish for finding the Fountain of Youth. So kudos to Mr. Marky Mark. He's dominating right now. And, and, and people can say, oh, the, the field isn't there. The sprinters aren't there. He has no competition. He's still 36, and he's still winning stages when there are younger riders around him. Maybe they're not sprinters, but he's doing something. His team, he's got a great lead-out team, so let's give credit where credit's due, and and that's that's all we're going to say about that. Good job to Mark Cavendish, um, and I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't for this. So congratulations to him on his 34 uh, stage wins at the Tour de France, tying Eddie Merckx. Um, hopefully we get to see him where he uh, beats that record, but we'll see what happens. Even tying it is a great feat in that alone. So, but... While we're here, uh, he's already won four stages in the 2021 Tour de France. He won stage four, stage six, stage 10, and stage 13. But without all this, I mean, when we think about Mark Cavendish, we think about, the Ven in, in my personal opinion, I think about the Venge. Um, the Venge to me was his most iconic bike and the bike that every time I think about Mark Cavendish, that's a bike I see him on. Uh, this was actually just for uh, proof here. This was my first ever S-Works bike I ever owned. This was the S-Works Venge. Um, this was a 2012. They released this right after he did the uh, 2011 Tour de France. He won the green jersey there. I think he won four stages in that. He won, no, he won five in 2011. He won stage five, stage seven, stage 11, stage 15, and stage 21. Won the green jersey, and he was on the McLaren Venge, and they released this limited edition frame that I picked up. It was a green green frame. I had the green tires in there, the green caps, green everything. I'm a fan. You know, I absolutely loved the whole situation of the Mark Cavendish frame. Um, but, so, when you think about Mark Cavendish, you think about the Venge. And I got a feeling that they're already going to do some kind of celebration frame for him uh, in terms of, you know, um, like, like you know, how last year they had the celebration frame by uh, Sam Bennett because he won the green jersey. Even if he doesn't win the green jersey, which he, he is going to, in my opinion, I think he's going to win the green jersey. But even if he doesn't, they'll still release some kind of a memorable i mean that's that's huge so that's a huge accomplishment to beat a record that's so far away and in, in modern day cycling to beat 34 stages uh is crazy so this was last year's green jersey winner this was sam bennett's celebration frame which i think looks gorgeous but it's a tarmac sl7 cavendish right now is riding the sl7 as well um but i got so here's here's my here's my thing my qualm my everything like that with specialized I'm excited. I don't know if th that, there's nothing confirmed yet. This this is just me sitting here hoping as a fanboy that Specialized. I know the Venge has been killed off in 2021 um, in, in the United States, but I've also seen other countries being sold as a frame, I think in a different color as well for a complete bike. I don't know. But how cool would it be for them to release for 2022 if, if Cavendish does the unthinkable and beats that record or even wins a green jersey to release a limited edition green jersey specialized venge s-works frame set and then maybe the option for a tarmac sl7 i mean he's winning right now on the tarmac sl7 but i mean the man crushed it just just for a track record let's to let you know 2011 with htc high road he won uh 2011 in htc high road he won stage 5 stage 7 stage 11 stage 15 and stage 21 that was on the mclaren venge this model right here this was a McLaren Venge right here. That speak about. Sorry to get off topic so much. Speak about expensive bikes that I get all these comments on. This was in 2012. This bike retailed for $18,000 in 2012. Put that through your head. You guys are complaining about $13,000 prices for the Tarmac SL7. We sold this bike in our store for $18,000. Granted, it was paired with McLaren, and also this bike came with two pairs of wheels. It came with a tubular set and a clincher set. So it came with two Zip 404 sets. But this bike was. $18,000. The junction box for DI2 went underneath here with an external battery. It was a really badass bike. Everything was done to a T. It had e-cycle uh, brakes on there. Zip stem, zip bar. Gorgeous. One of my favorite paint jobs. But this was a bike that he was riding in the Pro Peloton. was a McLaren Venge. But he won so many. And this was our store here. Just so you guys know. Blah, 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 blah. But he won 2011 five stages. In 2013, he won on Omega Quick Step two stages. Stage five and stage 13. So that's seven total set seven total stages on tour de france for the venge and also in stage uh, i'm sorry in 2015 he won one stage on stage seven so that's a total of eight stages that he won on the venge granted he won four stages 
in 2021 with the Tarmac SL7, but um, I, got, I mean, when I think of that, when I just think about this moment, I think of the Venge for the Cavendish, and I would love to see Specialized bring back a just, I mean, I know they discontinued the Venge, but for one last hurrah to release a limited edition Venge frame, let's say like a you know how Trek is doing like those those crazy chrome red and chrome blue? Maybe like a chrome green S-Works Venge. And with the S-Works being like a brush chrome. Oh my God. Beautiful. And then also a Tarmac SL7 option. But just one last hurrah. Release it to the whole country. Release limited quantities. But I think it will kill it. Let me know what you guys think on that. But I mean, when you think, I, I, I just, I wish, I wish even on the last stage of those horror fans, they would put them on. They just grab a Venge frame for a quick step and put them on that. It'll be so iconic. I mean, the guy is, uh, is, is killing right now. And, and and who knows? Let's say he does beat this record. What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to continue to chase after it? Or do you think he's going to retire? I mean, because he seems like he's still got some left in the tank. And he seems competitive enough that he might still keep on trying to go for it. I don't know if he'll be a race, race in next year's tour. But I think he'll continue competitive cycling. But who knows? We'll see. But what are you guys' thoughts? Do you guys think that they should release a limited edition Venge? Or do you think it should just be the Tarmac that they went forward on? Because, of, as you know, the Tarmac SL7 took over the Venge in the uh, Western Hemisphere marketplace. They don't have it in the United States, or I don't believe in Canada either, because of the fact that the Venge was just a little bit more aerodynamic, but heavier than the Tarmac SL7. So the re they said there was very minimal gains or differences there, so they just discontinued the Axe, the Venge, and then they made the Tarmac SL7 the whole bike. But let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to see a Venge um, Cavendish edition. I mean, to go full circle, to have that bike there uh, would be absolutely beautiful. That that green Tarmac SL7, I'm sorry, that green Venge I had back in the day, to make a Mark Cavendish Venge frame would be beautiful. But let me know what you guys think. I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Oh, and also... I think so beautiful. Also, coming up in the future, once I hit 18,000 su subscribers on YouTube, I will plan to do another giveaway, either shoes or helmet, uh, maybe both as well. And then 20,000 subscribers, I got a big giveaway planned. I don't know why I skipped 15,000 subscribers. I just like 18 a lot for the number, so I figured I'd just skip 15, go to 18. And then, uh, I know 18 is pretty close to 20. So once we get to 20,000, I want to do something cool. I want to do like a big giveaway. Maybe some wheels, maybe some cool like that. I don't know. It, we'll have to figure out the logistics of everything and shipping international because you guys know my giveaways. I like to give away everything internationally as well, but sometimes it costs a lot of money to ship it. So we have to do what's right for me as well. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, should they release the limited edition Cavendish green frame or even Eddie Merck's frame or just, just all time frame uh, in Avenge or Tarmac SL7? Do you think they should forget about the Fenge all the way or just go SL7 all the way? But that's going to do it for this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.